Tonight, a 21 year old Indianapolis man is facing felony charges after police say he left the scene of a deadly hit and run. Kason Jackson died after that crash on Michigan Road on Saturday night. Karen Campbell joining us live in studio after looking into this case and some others today. And Karen, you know, police always say even if you're scared, mm -hmm. stay at the crash scene, which is so important. So in this recent arrest, police tell us that it was the uh, suspect's uncle who actually turned him in. Okay. Okay. which makes it worse. So you face a felony charge again if you leave the scene of an accident that you know causes injury or death instead of a lesser charge if someone would have remained at the scene. The family of Alexandra Leal, they are still hoping the person who hit and killed her turned themselves in. It's been nearly one week since that incident happened on South Lynnhurst Drive. And Metro Police tells us that their hearts are with the families who've lost loved ones. Anything as far as a vehicle color, description, what you saw, where you saw it, all those things can help piece together an investigation and find people that are responsible for tragic incidents that we've seen. IMPD needs the public's help finding a 2002 to 2006 silver Toyota Camry that they say struck Leal and left the scene. Now, according to Indy Pedestrian Safety Crisis, they've been tracking the number of incidents since January of this year. There have been 32 deaths involving either a pedestrian or a cyclist involved in hit and runs. And when we look at the last 30 days, that same organization has documented 82. 82 incidents. Wow of wow. people who have been hit and injured. Yeah, wow. and uh, definitely if mm -hmm. they're involved in a situation like this, stay at the scene. Exactly. Do your best not to be a distracted driver out there. Yes. And that's a key issue. All mm -hmm. right, thanks so much, Karen.